Hey, what's up guys? So today we have another custom ROM for Samsung Galaxy A5 2016. This time we have Android 13 based ROM, Lineage OS, and the ROM is working perfectly fine on this device. It's kind of strange that this device can run Android 13. So let's check first what we are getting with this ROM. So about phone as you can see here. So as you can see the model number. So if you are looking for the model number, it's there. And Android 13 as you can see here. The security patch level is from October 5th, 2022. And the kernel it is using as you can see here. Dirty kernel. And that's all what you are getting. It's pretty much similar as the Android 12 based ROM I have reviewed few days ago. It's pretty much same. In terms of usability like network, internet and all those things. Those are working perfectly fine. No issue. I haven't faced any kind of issue. And in terms of battery. Battery is amazing for this kind of device. At least you can get 4 hours of skin on time if you are using this ROM in lightweight uses. But if you use heavy like game, playing games or anything like that, you might get a little less. So in terms of storage, as you can see, still 10 GB available. By the way, this ROM did not come with GFs. You have to flash GFs separately if you want to install this ROM. In terms of display settings, so adaptive brightness does work. Dark mode is here. So if you want pure dark mode, that is also available if you go to dark mode section. As you can see, pure dark is available, or if you want grayish one, you can turn it off and you will get the grayish one. Because this device got a MOLED panel, the dark one will save battery, so that's pretty good. And night light is there, and also we do have tap to sleep, but there is no double tap to ever. And if you go to advanced display section, we have senior view and other things. Going back, and wallpaper and style. We can change wallpaper and also can change the uh, accent color. Those things are available and also themed icons. Pretty much similar as all other Android 13 based ROM. In terms of security, we only have fingerprint unlock and fingerprint unlock is working perfectly fine. No issue. So it's a little slow but works flawlessly each and every time. No issue with that. Fingerprint is working. In terms of privacy, location, all those things are working. No issue. In the system setting, if you go to gesture, we don't really have any kind of gesture control here. So that is not a Bible. You have to use this navigation button. But usually I really like gesture navigations. It's pretty handy. But not a Bible on this ROM. In terms of usability of the ROM, the ROM is working perfectly fine. No issue. And if I check the safety net. So safety net is not there as you can see here. Fail. So you cannot use any kind of bank application here. And the play protect certification is also not there. So maybe some... Apps will not be compatible with this device because of Play Protect certification. But that is also not here. So if I go to Settings section, About, and as you can see here, device is not certified. So there is no Google Play certification. But most of the games and application will work, but there are few things which does not work if you don't have Google Play certification. In terms of usability, the device is running pretty well, no issue. The camera, as you can see here, it's working perfectly fine, no issue. So the camera is there. But you cannot install Gcam here actually. It's really hard to find a compatible Gcam for this kind of devices. In terms of gaming, you can still do gaming like Subway Surfer, Jetpack, all those games still work perfectly fine. But if you want online gaming, this device is not for online gaming anymore. But it's pretty much usable with Android 13 based ROM. Yes, it's a little slower than usual Android 7 based ROM, the stock UI. But if you want Android 13 or latest build of Android, you have to sacrifice something. But it's pretty much usable, everything working. Bo LTE does not work here. So keep in mind. In terms of other things, it's pretty much usable. I've been using this ROM for 2 or 3 weeks now. I haven't faced any kind of issue here. And the battery backup is excellent. The ROM link will be in the description below with GFs. So if you are using F5 2016, you should check out this ROM. And I will upload few more videos about custom ROM for this device. I'm looking for a perfect custom ROM for this device. Not really Android 13, 12 based ROM, but I think Android 10 will be pretty good for this device. So that's all about Android 13 for Samsung Galaxy A5. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.